Hello there, and welcome to the Roadside Chat Segment 3. I'm your host, Grindle. We're going to keep this to five minutes or less, as is the format. Uh, we've pushed it to five exactly the last two videos, but I don't think I'm going to be pressed for time or hurting for it on this next topic. This next topic is going to be theism. Now, theism, if you're not familiar with the definition or you don't talk about it a lot, is the belief in a certain stated creation point for the universe, a driving force for life, known more easily as God uh, or gods. Uh, monotheism, polytheism, all conscribe to the thought that you attribute the, the wonder of nature and of existence to a certain divine source uh, of great power. Now, theism manifests itself today most prominently in my life, which is the only opinion, the only viewpoint I can really give with 100% accuracy, uh, as Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, if you would consider Buddhism a theistic religion, which realistically it's not, uh, those are the major religions that people would give you if you asked for a list of uh, ones existing in the modern age. Now, those ideals those rule sets for how to be a good person and how to interact with one another are great in most cases in laying down the basic law for human interaction. They come with a lot of moral laws, a lot of scrupulous standpoints on which they say, this is how to conduct yourself. And this is coming from a creator's standpoint. People don't think about the fact that even the Bible, the King James Bible, has been tampered with, manipulated, changed by so many political leaders, monarchs, that had specific agendas on why they changed, what they changed, and when they did it, and how religion has morphed and absorbed other religions, other ideologies over these many centuries, if not millennia. We're all throwing in with a document that claims to be in, I'm sorry, not all of us, theists are putting in their faith, their stock, in a written set of codes. Now, if you're taking of those codes, what you think makes people intrinsically good, what makes them act in a way that benefits others, and what's help, what helps them see the, the view of other people as having value, that's okay. If you're a good person and you attribute that to religion, that's okay. If you're a bad person and attribute the reason you're bad to religion, I know as well as so many others know that you're making fucking excuses. That being said, I also know that the Bible was not written by God. This documentation is not by the creative source, it's inspired. It's inspired by people who collectively, because there were multiple people who for say, wrote the Bible, wrote the Quran, talking about a very fucked up time in our history where people were quicker to be barbaric. There was plenty of examples of civilization and good interaction between human beings and a constructive general nature of people as a community. But religion, theism, founded these precepts for how to live a good life, pointed out what was wrong and what the punishments, divine punishments would be for breaking these edicts, and then told you, well, this particular cultural group that we're covering right now as part of their divine history had to do war with these people, will do war with these people, shun the non-believers, that those who do not believe are to be pitied, to be feared, to be destroyed, and in some cases, out, growing out of that pity or fear have to be destroyed. I think we live in an era where theism should be a private belief for people because you're free to believe whatever you want based on whatever beliefs preceded that. And it needs to stay out of how the rest of us live our lives.